What's up, YouTube? So, back today with a good episode. Um, well, I'm back today with a good video. I've been wanting to shoot my boy Jay's car for a minute. I mean, I know you see the E46 behind me, but, oh man. Like, Jay's been my inspiration for a long time, ever since, like, I mean, who doesn't love E46 M3s? So, when I had my blue one, and even before I had my blue one, I used to look for Jay for inspiration, because the stuff he was doing, it was hard to even catch up. But every time I see this car, it's like always something new done to it. And I just wanted to catch it on video and show you guys how one of the bad, I, I think this is one of the most badass M3s on the East Coast. Um, I've seen others, but I think, and it's a convertible on top of that. So it's like, it's really nothing more to say to it. I mean, he got that. He also has his daily, which is the wagon over there. So Roscoe on my shot. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool <laughs> yeah jay got the e46 m3 which is his straight show car which is it's 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 gangster and then he got the wagon back there which is his daily and even his wagon is stanced out um f30 series and geez like i'm a, i gotta let you guys talk to jay and see what i'm talking about with these cars because it's so much stuff like it's so much stuff done to these cars like i don't even know where to begin so I'd rather him talk about it, him tell you guys what's going on with him. And uh, like as far as the modifications and stuff, and maybe even you guys at home with E46 M3s might motivate you guys or inspire you guys to do some some <laughs> some more work to yours. So the thing is, is that I knew Jay for years now. He's a fellow Scrape member, as you can see on my shirt. Jay, man, he goes to these shows, always taking trophies, whatever, but... His E46 M3 is sick, man. I don't even think I can under, like, I can't emphasize that enough to you guys. So we're gonna talk to Jay. We're gonna see what's going on. See Roscoe's over there shooting where he normally shoot. Yo, Jay. What's good, man? What's going on, kid? Yo, you know I had to come by, man. I had to get this on video, cause <laughs> I mean you get a lot of features, but you don't really get like a breakdown of like what's going on with the car. Yeah. So I figured. We gotta catch at least both of these babies right here, man. I think, in my opinion, I said let's start with the wagon since that's your daily. <coughs> that's crazy that this is a daily, y'all. <coughs> this is a, daily this right is a show killer too, and it's a daily. That's crazy. But I just wanted to get a little breakdown of what's going on with the with this. What you do to this? It's my little baby. You don't really see too many too many wagons in New York. I mean, especially on the BBSs, um, man. Looking good like this. I had an E46 wagon before, but uh. I can't really do what I want to do because right. the axle sensor is the first gen all wheel drive. Uh huh. Axle is a little funny when you, right. you drop it too low. So, um, plus I wanted to all wheel drive in New York because it's for the snow. So, anyway, got rid of the car, bought this one. Nice, nice. And, uh, basically, I just did everything I wanted to do. I wanted to bag it, bag it. But you, you had the intention of, of bagging it from jump or like from you? The jump. I oh, so you knew what I you were. I've been wanting to bag the E46, <laughs> but I didn't. Yeah. I couldn't because the axles. So I decided to bag this one as soon as we got it. Basically built this car in one month. Nice, My nice. My boy Keith at the stand shop. Yeah. Basically supplied me. As soon as he saw the car, he was like, bro, I got every single part for the car. Put the carbon lip on, side skirts. Nice. Rear balances, rear diffuser, carbon mirrors, bags, yeah. sound pipes, tuned it. Nice, Ocean nice, Bang, yo. Came out of the same shop, right? And you know me, man. I'm a big fan of the limo tents, man. You know yeah, how I roll. So yeah. black on black with like, I love it. oh I man, love it. you know, oh, this is. And you know me with the wheels. And I'm not even a wagon guy, but this right here, oh yeah, I drive this all day. This is a fun car to drive. I, I drive this all day. I love driving this car. It's, it's comfortable, man. I'm not gonna lie. And the interior black too. Everything triple black. Yeah, let's check that out real quick. Let's see what's going on. Man, this thing is clean, man. Oh, the carbon mirrors, you put that on there, right? Yeah, my boy Key got me a set, so oh, okay. we got everything done. So the carbon lip, carbon split, like, Put the sequential yeah. turn signal black, smokes. Nice. Put the rain guards on. Yeah. It's a 330M Sport, so it has all the M badges in it. Nice. Yeah, it's a sick, My baby, I'm not gonna lie. It's a sick. I love this car. And I love the fact that you did all, like, all carbon accents on it, like all the splitters is, is carbon. Even the, the rear splitter here, the diffuser, that's, oh man. And then <laughs> the plate, you got minty uh, on this yeah, one, yeah, and then two minty on that. Sick, sick. I didn't, sick. I didn't lose name, so. Sick. Basically, master. 
All right, so now we got to talk about this one because I know people are going to love the daily. We could come back to that, but this is what I'm really here for. So this is my... Oh, uh, man. How long you had this car? Eight years. Eight years. Eight years. Eight long years. Long well, Do you remember what your first modification was? <laughs> yes. Well, I remember the first thing I did to this car. Going to the keep. Stand shop again. <laughs> Seven years ago. Wow. The first thing we did, we changed, uh, we changed the rings, the LED rings. On the headlights, the first headlights I had, right. we changed the rings, we made an LED. Sick. Um, yeah, and after that, it went downhill after that. We <laughs> spent money, 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 money. So, the first thing that's this, that stands out to me, and I'm pretty sure people at home are probably already looking at it, this is not a factory color. No, it's not. So, what color is this? This is a uh, Hockenheim Silver off a two, M2 competition car. Oh, man, that's so, sick. That's sick. It's something different. This color came out in 2019. Right. So I needed something different, so I had to go with that color instead. I mean, just even saying that, Hockenheim Silver sounds Hockenheim sick. Silver. <laughs> I found that was a racetrack. Yeah, a racetrack. yeah, that's so. sick, that's sick. And then, I mean, we got the, I mean, I, we got to talk about the interior for real quick, because it's like, that's what's poking out to me. Those definitely ain't the stock seats either. Yeah, those ain't stock. These are 2017 M4 seats, off convertible. Oh, man. How the only ones that could work. I can't, fortunately, I can't put competitions because it's, Coop. Right, right. So I needed something vert, so with the pillar, so decided to go that route instead. Sick, man. Was sick. it hard to get it to like working there? So everything worked. The, the... Everything works. Oh, that's sick. Functional bolsters work, lights work, everything worked. AC ducts work, work. vents work. I'm sorry. Wow. Um, yeah, it was a it was a big project. My boy who wired up the seat. At right. My boy Martin at MNC. Yeah. It took him three days to figure out how to wire one seat in here to get a functional. <laughs> And then you got it real posted because that's the original. I brought it to a place in Connecticut, my boy John in a BM Story, right. BMW Restore Seats. Right. He did the whole interior of the front seats for me over. Yeah. He did a good job. Because I know those come in the secure orange. They don't come in the. Um... It came in white. Oh, it came in white. came in white. Yeah, yeah, it okay. It came off a crash car. Unfortunately, the seat was busted because of the airbag. Right. So he had to order me new, new parts. He had to get me new brake because the brake, I guess, when it hit, got into the accident, it. Got stuck. And I mean, I see the steering wheel. You did the full carbon steering wheel. Yeah, I got the full, full carbon steering wheel with my boy George at M Parts. Nice. Uh, my boy nice. George sold my center console. Okay. So he decided to make me a new one without Alcantara stitching the master seats. Oh, so it's, it's, in, it's in the mail coming right now. Sick. So sick. Be getting done in about another week or so. Yeah. I have a new armrest, so be really dope. And then, I mean, you got the matching BBS is like the wagon. But the amazing thing with you. <laughs> What you people don't know at home, I call this guy the wheel man. <laughs> Not because he be driving crazy, but this guy's collection of wheels is insane. We're going we're gonna to show you the wheels in a little bit. But, like, he switches yeah. up wheels. Every time he goes to different shows, there's always a different set I of had, wheels on here. I had three-piece car lines here for maybe a year. Yeah. Probably the longest set of wheels I had was the car lines. Really? But I have a thing for the car lines, so yeah. I decided to keep them. I mean, we, we, we're going to talk we're about it. About we're, yeah, when we get over there, because I got to show people what you Charles got in the garage. Yes, yeah. man. I, I these are timeless, a, man. These are I these old two sets. I need two sets. Jeez. Another thing. See, I'm 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 trying to point out the stuff that I noticed, and I'm pretty sure other people with even 46 M3s notice it. I mean, they notice the difference. That rear bumper, because that's not factory. Rear bumper is different. That's custom made, right? It's custom made. Usually, Sick. you find these off like the Vorstein of right. wide bodies with the custom bumpers. Yeah. But what we did, we decided to do the vent on the OEM bumper. So basically, it's an OEM bumper Sick. with the stock diffuser. The stock diffuser was here, but it's molded onto the diffuser. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we could put the rear diffuser on, carbon on. Nice. And we was able to cut the vents out, make it match perfect. That looks sick, man. And also got the carbon trunk. The, yeah, the status grub. Yeah, that's the CSL trunk, right? CSL trunk came from status grub. Nice. Took a, couple, I, took a couple months to come, but it came. I love how you did that. Like the little, like you just kept yeah. this carbon accent right here, and that's it, just to show. Oh, and then behind the plate, too. This is sick, man. This is sick, yo. And then I remember you was mentioning the headlights. I see the headlights are different. And then yeah. on top of that, I mean, we could also, I mean, I, you guys saw the engine bay. Has a supercharger. supercharger ESS. ESS 550 kit. Wow. Right now I got the car making 465. I'm not planning to push. I'm not into that. I'm not into speed. Yeah, I mean, the car, it's a show car. Yeah, me, it's so a show car. I'm happy with that. I mean, listen, stock, 
with the power that these these cars make stock it's already a fun car so you don't need nothing too extreme because it's like you don't want to throw off like how the car feels and everything like that especially you know it's a different setup I run right the, even though the car has 465 I'm running I'm running negative eight cam in the rear so. oh yeah that's true yeah so I'm yeah. not really getting traction so, yeah uh, it's still fun to drive with yeah. straight but definitely a nice showpiece when you sitting at the shows you got the hood open yeah, and people see yeah. that yeah this is sick man this is sick i can't i mean <laughs> i mean you know me when i had my e46 for a brief moment and i was chasing this guy because yo like y'all see the car man it's insane like this is insane and like i said this is one of the to me i think this is one of the badass e46 m3s that i on the east coast that i that i know of i mean i think there's like two others that i know of that are up there but like with the amount of custom stuff like the interior he did everything he did everything engine bay interior the body is a different color like not a lot of people go to that extreme you know so this looks sick man everything just fits so perfect and you could see that like this is years of work years of work that finally come together and it looks amazing bro looks thank amazing you, thank you and you gotta you gotta you gotta show me the wheels you gotta show the people at home the wheels this is my candy shop. <laughs> this is my candy store rims. I got a pair of Apexes. These are 19 by 10 and 10 and a half. Uh huh. These are my competitions. I bought two sets to make this set. Just so I can have 19 by 10 squared. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? This guy's the wheel man. I sold the fronts. 19 by 9s got rid of those. Oh man. These are, the tens. These are my style wheels. I came originally with the wagon. Nice. These are just, just in case. Yeah. Uh, these are the babies. Woo, racing dynamics. These are my racing dynamics. These are 18 by 10 and 11s. This can fit my wagon. I can fit these in a wagon all day. Wow. No problem. These are my HU Schnitzers. These are by 10, 11 and a half. These are for the E46 M3. Right. All day. I'm still waiting to put my AC E brake on. <laughs> The uh, car lines. These are the infamous car lines. Yes. I got these refinished by my boy MVP Nick, by the way. He did all my wheels. Yeah. Uh, MVP Nick lines. is sick. Yeah, yeah Nick, Nick, Nick is the fucking man. Yeah, yeah he's sick. Best out in New York. His V-Dub is... Yeah. No, his V-Dub is... Yeah, it's bananas. Yeah, it's bananas. bananas. Yeah, yeah. He's on another level with that V-Dub. I ain't gonna lie to you. But the car lines, when I had them for last year, they were shining. They were all mint, but... Nick did them over for me, gave me new brand, brand new gold hardware, repolished the faces, lips. Yeah. Fucking amazing job. <laughs> These shits is 18 by 10 and 11 and a half. Nice. Infamous AC Sensor Type 2s. Nick did these two. We did the bolts for me. Right. He lifted it, gave me the gold face. Sick. Those are the 18 by 10 and 18 by 12 and a half. Sick, bro. Those are going on soon. And Fuck the thing about y'all, though, yeah, all right, so. I know people at home are like, damn, but what y'all don't understand is that, like, he sold other wheels that he had. Yeah, like, this I is not even the full, you had BBS, you, you had I, RFs. I had another set of RS. You had, had RSs. Of <laughs> yes. I had a set of BBS RS2s. Yep. I had a set of CCWs. I had a set of flat face RS2s. I had, damn, I know, I, I know I'm forgetting more. I know I'm forgetting. And then you try to. You was thinking about getting the the, the OZ for Turtles off of me at one point. At one point, one of the OZ for Turtles. Yeah, I ended up getting the BBS RS. Yep. We had those. For, we had those for a minute. I got rid of those. <sighs> and then um, right now I'm in the works. Right now I'm trying to get some hockeys. Hey, you, and I'm everybody at home. Racing dynamics. Yeah, this is. Everybody at home that knows wheels know that these are not easy to come by. I think by hard the hardest ones right now. I'm not even gonna lie. Is these are nearly impossible to get. A guy in Germany hit me up and told me I might be the only one in East Coast with these racing dynamics. And these are the racing dynamics RRS. Yeah. Not even done yet. Right. When I bring them to Nick, I'm going <laughs> to repolish all the bolts back to flat face. And it'll, wow. It's going to be good money. Wow, wow, wow. Jay, That's man. Cool. Amazing collection, yo. Thank Amazing you. cars. Two, two showstopper cars. I got an extra lip in case I break my lip for the E46. <laughs> so we, we've been there. I've been through four of those. This is the yeah. ninth one. The ninth one. When I had mine, I went so, through four. Four. Is, yo. The one on the car now is a CSO1. This is a CSO2. Right. Makes the car even look even lower with this one. But that's just a backup one. Sick. Sick. Yo, Jay, man, thanks for having me thanks, over, bro. man.
Thanks for seeing me. I always love seeing these cars. You know that. Oh, I've been ducking. I've been, <laughs> I've been ducking you for a while, but I know, I know. We've been busy, I've been man. Trying to get right, man. I've been had the wheels all over the place. I had wheels at the stand shop. I had wheels yeah. at Stand Island. I had wheels at Long Island Tire. I had wheels. It was, all over it was the everywhere. Once, once I got my garage, I was able to put everything in here. So, yeah, thanks for coming by, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, when I see Jay-Z 46 all the time, man, it makes me miss mine. And I remember <laughs> we used to roll together when I had a Topaz Blue. And, yo, we used to break necks. I miss that car. Yo, it was... It's, uh, different, man. it's different, Yo, but Jay, my man. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you, bro. Yo, thanks for having me, man. Thank you. And, yo, these... Yo, people at home, come on. Y'all got to comment. Which which is your favorite wheel here? Because... <laughs> and Roscoe taking the shots because this it's a sick this is sick yo oh man y'all gotta tell me which is your favorite car <laughs> and which is your favorite set of wheels everybody back at home I hope y'all enjoyed the video but I gotta go man so till next time peace